Hi, everybody. We're looking at IntelliJ in Primitive, which is a visualization of code in VR. And this is the largest code base we've looked at, 6.7 million lines of code. And you can see how wide the span of this code base is. But we're going to focus on this part of the code base that deals with code inspections. Now, IntelliJ, if you don't know, is an IDE for Java and other languages, and it provides these code inspections to allow you to see if there's any issues with your code and then migrate them to better code that it suggests. I want to look at this bar scope can be narrowed. What this package deals with is when you have a variable that's, let's say, a field or a parameter that has a larger scope than a small piece of code, this code inspection looks to see if that variable is only used in one place. And if so, it will suggest that you can make it into a local variable. An example of this is this field can be local inspection. This is the base class. And we can see a couple of methods in here. And to see what it does, we look at this check code block method. And all the code is over here. And I won't go through all of it in too much detail. But what's important is that we're looking at the control flow, that is, where variables are used and how they're used. And we're going through all these variables that are in the current scope. And if there's anything that's used in multiple methods, let's say, that won't be something that we will suggest be narrowed. Similarly, if there's something that's used by reading it before we write to it, even if that's used in only one method, it still is something that needs to be persisted across method calls. And so that still is not something that needs to be a local variable, or rather can be a local variable. Once we've found those, the other thing that this inspection can do is actually create a fix. Now here it's returning null, but we can see the class that inherits from it has an implementation of it. And here's the actual fix. And what that fix does is do things like suggest what should be the name of the variable once it's a local name. For example, in some style guide, a field might be capitalized or have some other naming, whereas a local variable might not be capitalized. And so this will suggest that when you move it and make it into a local variable, it becomes lowercase or whatever the style guide suggests. It moves the documentation comment. So for example, in Java docs, those can't exist inside of a method. Those will be moved into a regular comment. And then actually doing the movement, which will change the structure of the code and then run the right action that says persist that to the file and make the fix persistent. So this is something that we as programmers use all the time, but it's pretty opaque how these features are implemented. And looking at the code base in this way, it's not something I'd ever done before, but with Primitive, it's fun to do. And I've learned a lot about how the tools I used are implemented.